If you are interested in graphic design, a term most likely you already came across has to be negative space or white space. In this video, I am going to show you many examples of why it is so important to use and utilize negative space in your compositions. And we will learn different ways of using it, whether it is to create a certain type of aesthetic or mood, or to add some hidden meanings into your designs. So first of all, why is it called negative space? The reason for that is because all the elements that we place into our compositions, we consider to take up positive space. So the surrounding empty spaces can be considered being negative. Now you probably guessed that negative space can be just as important as the positive space in your compositions. And finding a balance between these two is a key and crucial task for every graphic designer. The best way to remember the importance and the relationship between these two types of spaces in your compositions is to think about breathing. You can consider positive space in graphic design to be the breathing in part and negative space to be the breathing out. One cannot exist without the other and there has to also be a good balance between breathing in and out or positive and negative space. So if you look at this design, for instance, we can see that these would be considered positive spaces and also obviously all the typography that we can see here in the middle, also on the top and also here at the bottom. But already in between these, we have negative space right here, also here and here. But the more noticeable are these larger areas where again, we have nothing, just a white background. And specifically in print, where the paper is white, we would refer to this as white space. There is also a useful way of categorizing negative space. You can use it on a micro or a macro level. And in this case, these larger areas would be macro negative spaces, while the smaller spaces between letters, for instance, in the typography would be considered micro negative spaces and spaces between characters can also be considered passive negative space while the spaces that you intentionally leave blank like all of these larger areas you can consider active negative spaces and in most compositions you will always have a combination of micro and macro or passive and active negative spaces here is a great example of a classical music festival where we not only see a brilliant way of utilizing negative space, but also a great example of the figure ground gestalt principle, which is a method that can help your viewer to see multiple different meanings in the same design. So in this case, you can consider these two violins to be the subjects placed in front of this white backdrop, which in case the white backdrop would be the ground and the violins would be the figure, However, if you concentrate at the outline or contour formed by the violins, it looks like a face and especially further emphasized by this bow tie. So looking at it from this point, this empty space becomes a person and the figure in the composition and the violins become the ground or the backdrop. And most of the time, if you want to use the figure ground rule in your work, you would have to use negative space to suggest additional meanings. And you can see many other examples of this on this board, like the light bulb here that is also forming a bridge, the smoke that is also forming the contour of Sherlock Holmes' face, these two kids playing football here, but in between them, we can also see the outline of Africa, or this brilliant poster created by Oli Moss, where the cliffs and the mountains are also forming the outline of a tree. If you are interested to see other great examples of negative space used in illustrations, I highly recommend to check out Oli Moss's work or compositions by the legendary designer Paul Rand. Negative space can also be used in logo design and I'm pretty sure you've also came across this example of the FedEx logo where the reason for this tight tracking or narrow letter spacing was to create this little arrow here between the E and the X and this is a brilliant solution for this company because that arrow is suggesting the speed of delivery. 
But besides using negative space to achieve these type of hidden meanings, we can also rely on it to introduce tension in our composition or even to achieve a specific mood or aesthetic. In editorial design, especially for layouts in magazines, large areas of negative space achieves a more luxurious, sophisticated feel. And that usually comes down to the fact that if you have a lot of empty space, then that means that you will have to have more pages within your magazine, which would lead to the cost of manufacturing, printing, and even delivery to increase. Here is a very interesting study conducted by Sally Lynn Meyer, who recognized that the more negative space you have in a magazine, the higher the average household income of their readership is. So here we can see some of the spreads simplified to showing the positive spaces in black and the negative spaces in white. So it is clear that, for instance, the New York Times Style magazine has a lot of negative space compared to the OK magazine, which is almost completely filled with positive space to a point that most likely in some cases can even feel cluttered. And while the average household income of the readership of this magazine is around $150,000 per year, the OK Magazine's readership is closer to only $40,000 per year. So when we look at the magazine spread like this one, immediately we can spot the vast amount of negative space being used here on the right side. And besides the feeling of sophistication, we can also get a sense of calmness, which perfectly emphasizes the topic of this article, which is about the nature of a place. Using large amounts of negative space in AdWords can also help to grab viewers' attention, because the same rule applies here. Most advertisers like to put as much information as possible into a composition. And controversially, these are the ones that we would most likely ignore. However, an advert like this in a magazine or on the street would immediately grab our attention. But make sure whenever you use extreme amount of negative space like this, there should always be a reason for it. So in this case, again, it is helping not only to grab people's attention, but also to emphasize the small scale of this sapling of a Christmas tree which is a perfect way to visually imply the early Christmas sale. And the way that the designer assured that we can immediately tell that this is a tiny little tree is that we have a very recognizable object here, this red bubble that establishes the proportions. And here's another advert where instead of the negative space being used to create that juxtaposition between large and small, here it is used more to achieve that luxurious feel that, again, is working perfectly well with the product that's been advertised. And it would be a shame not to mention the adverts from Apple when we are talking about negative space, because it is a brand that clearly utilizes it in pretty much everything that they do. And in a way, they made it into a signature element or component of their brand. So you can see that they are using a lot of negative space, whether it is a snapshot from one of their web pages or one of their large billboards. And it is, again, a clever use of negative space because obviously the product in this case is iPad mini. And the way they kept everything free here and only using a small little area here on the right side indicates how small this product is, even when it is displayed on a massive billboard like this one. So by using this much negative space, they could create this visual pun. But remember, it is also a great way to grab the viewer's attention because we are not used to seeing these blank billboards with only a small little information hidden on the two sides of it. Thanks a lot for watching. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new videos. Click on the link on my right and start your membership today to get access to over 200 hours of training courses and personal mentoring by me and my team of creative professionals. Have fun learning guys and I will see you in the next one.